What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Josh Fan of showmefootball.com and today I want to talk some more Chiefs football as always. Obviously, once again, one of the biggest talking points when it comes to the Kansas City Chiefs following week 4 is just how bad the defense was. And I've talked a lot of defense over the past few weeks regarding this Chiefs team. Um, I've done a bunch of videos talking about that, podcasts, everything that you guys listen to and watch uh, from me. We've done a lot of defensive talk. In addition, I also made a video last week about four personnel decisions I would like to see the Chiefs make that could maybe help out their defense. And one of my suggestions in particular had to do with the linebackers and maybe playing someone else or trying someone else out. And uh, to a lot of people's surprise, I suggested that maybe we should see some more Dorian O'Daniel just because the linebackers are so bad. Like, what do you have to lose by playing a young athletic linebacker who's kind of hidden on your depth chart? That was kind of my logic with a lot of the uh, suggestions I had in that video was just going with the younger guy or the guy with more upside. I think Dorian O'Daniel still has more upside. And surprise, surprise, when Ben Neiman entered concussion protocol late in the game against the Eagles, Dorian O'Daniel got two snaps. He got two snaps. And I was so excited because guess what? He actually produced on those two snaps. And I'm sitting here saying, oh my God, finally the Chiefs were forced to play Dorian O'Daniel, and something positive actually came out of it. Now, it's a very, very small sample size, but Dorian O'Daniel is someone that in 2018, when he was a rookie and he played, he was given the opportunity, and he flashed a lot. And every time this guy is on the field, it seems like he does something good. He doesn't get on the field very often under defensive coordinator Steve Spagnuolo, uh, which I've been critical of, uh, you know... He, he just flashes every time. Last year in the season opener against the Houston Texans, Dorian O'Daniel actually got some run in the end of that game because it was kind of a blowout, and uh, he ended up getting a sack on Deshaun Watson. But anyway, in this game against the Philadelphia Eagles, they actually had Dorian O'Daniel play some QB spy on Jalen Hurts, and he actually did pretty well, and we're going to actually go over the two snaps from that game here in a second so I can show you guys what Dorian O'Daniel did if you missed it. Um, but I was happy to see him get on the field, so uh, we're going to go ahead and actually look at those two snaps right now. All right, so uh, before I play these, I want to credit uh, Craig Stout uh, on Twitter at BarleyHop. Um, the defensive analyst for uh, the Kansas City Sports Network. Uh, he put these out on Twitter, but I wanted to uh, show them to you guys. So this is Dorian O'Daniel's first play in that game, uh, I believe. One of the two, anyway. I guess it doesn't really matter what order. Um, but there's going to be a circle that goes around uh, Dorian O'Daniel here, um, pointing out where he is. So on this play, he shows really nice patience, um, and he has some good gap discipline here. Again, he's just he's playing QB spy on Jalen Hurts essentially here, and uh, he actually does a pretty good job and gets in on the tackle. I'll go ahead and play it for you guys so you can watch. So ball is snapped, goes in, stays where he's supposed to be, nice and disciplined play right there, and ends up getting in on the tackle of Jalen Hurts. I mean, nothing spectacular, but he does his job. So for this next snap, I want you guys to ignore the two red circles. You're going to be looking in between those two players. That's Dorian O'Daniel. He's essentially lined up um, in the middle of the defense right here, and uh, they're just going to send him in on the passer. This was one of the Chiefs' blitzes, and... Uh, Dorian O'Daniel, actually, I'm going to play it right now, um, does a really nice job getting off his block. He kind of blows back the center a little bit here, does a nice job, and helps to create some pressure on Jalen Hurts here. Again, I mean, it was a uh, coordinated blitz. A bunch of people got involved. But, I mean, Dorian O'Daniel helped to cause some pressure there, and I thought he looked pretty good um, getting off the block there. So... I don't necessarily want to overhype Dorian O'Daniel or anything like that. Again, very, very small sample size um, from that game against the Eagles, but I think it's time for the Chiefs to unleash Dorian O'Daniel, man. I said it in my video last week, and I'm sticking with it. 
I want to see more Dorian O'Daniel. You're telling me that I, I, I've refused to believe for the past several years that Ben Neiman is better than Dorian O'Daniel. For the longest time, people always said, oh, well, Dorian O'Daniel probably just doesn't know the defense. He's having trouble learning the defense. I mean, it's year three under Steve Spagnuolo. I highly doubt Dorian O'Daniel still doesn't know the defense. And if if the reasoning for Dorian O'Daniel not getting on the field is he doesn't know the defense, well then that's just doesn't it just doesn't make any sense because this team still can't get lined up right and it's week four. So it seems like nobody knows the defense. So you might as well just play the better athlete at linebacker. And that's another thing is just Dorian O'Daniel is the best athlete the Chiefs have at the linebacker position that's not named Willie Gay. Um, and we saw how bad the Chiefs got burnt um, in the flats. Their linebackers are too slow to get to the ball carrier. They're they're the root of most of the Chiefs' defensive problems. Um, they're just not fast enough to get where they need to be. But Dorian O'Daniel is. Dorian O'Daniel is a good athlete. He had a RAS score um, that was above 7. I, I, I would have to go back and check to be 100% sure. Um, but I believe he was a above 7 RAS score, 7 out of 10. Um, and really Dorian O'Daniel is a great closer on his tackles. That's a problem that the chiefs have had is tackling Dorian O'Daniel is a sound tackler. I would love to have the better tackler in the game. I get he's a little undersized for a linebacker. Um, but guys like Anthony Hitchens and Nick Bolton, you know, they're not physical specimens. Dorian O'Daniel's more of a hybrid, um, linebacker slash safety, but I like that about him. I know he's a tweener and sometimes it makes it hard for him to have a designated spot and he can get, um, exposed in certain matchups, but you're telling me this guy can't contribute at all with how bad the linebackers have been? You're telling me he can't even get on the field? You know, I've been seeing some people on Twitter say, because I've seen more people uh, start to come to my side on this and ask, you know, Chiefs media questions like, where is Dorian O'Daniel? Why does he still not get snaps? And those people, their answer just is, oh, well, you know, if he's not getting snaps by now, that kind of answers your question. You know, he's just not good enough. But to me, when I hear people say that, it's essentially saying, oh, well, we should just agree with the coaches and trust the coaches as to why Dorian O'Daniel isn't playing. Well, why? Why is that a good reason? Because Steve Spagnuolo, I think a lot of people are starting to realize we shouldn't just trust Steve Spagnuolo or trust the coaches just because and we don't know any more than them because... I mean, Steve Spagnuolo can't even play Juan Thornhill. He can't even identify the fact that Juan Thornhill is the better option over Dan Sorensen, and we're supposed to just believe that Dorian O'Daniel isn't good enough to get on the field over Ben Neiman? No, I think this is just blatant favoritism. I think this is failing to recognize who the better option is. And look, I don't want to sit here and act like Dorian O'Daniel is this all-world linebacker that's just waiting in the wings to be uh, found, but... I guarantee he could prove to be one of the Chiefs' better options at linebacker again because of how bad they've been this year. Give him a shot, man. Um, whether it's sending him on blitzes, I feel like he can be a good blitzing linebacker just in scenarios like that. Uh, he doesn't have to play a bunch of snaps, but I feel like he should be getting a small percentage of the snaps. Uh, again, good closing speed. I, I mean, I, I think Dorino Daniel has the speed to cover some of these running backs out of the backfield. I believe he would match up better against the tight end than Nick Bolton or Anthony Hitchens. Uh, you're telling me this guy can't do anything to help out the defense? It's time to see what Dorian O'Daniel can do. We need to see this now. Again, small sample size. I want to make Dorian O'Daniel seem like he's this Pro Bowl linebacker waiting in the wings, but I do think he can contribute to this defense, and I think more people are starting to wake up to the fact that maybe Steve Spagnuolo isn't playing the best guy at a lot of these positions. Um, Dan Sorensen needs to be taken off the field. I'd rather see Armani Watts over Dan Sorensen at this point, point. and Spags just, I, I feel like he's being stubborn. I really do. He was forced to play Dorian O'Daniel because of a late injury to Ben Neiman, and uh, I think because of that, we were able to see some flashes from Dorian. I would just really like to see uh, what he can do. Uh, I want to see him get more snaps, and I don't want to cheer for a guy's injury or hope someone gets injured, but I was kind of disappointed that Ben Neiman already cleared concussion protocol because I thought that... Um, if he were to stay in it, then they again, they would be forced to play Dorian O'Daniel, and I think we would have seen some good things from him. I'm really hoping he can get a chance at some point later this season, but 
I want to know if you guys agree or disagree. I want to know how many people are on my side on this. So please tell me in the comments. Uh, all that being said, though, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this. And make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and kckingdom.com. See ya. Thank you.